Lucy's kitchen. It's Lucy's kitchen. She's Lucy and she's got a kitchen. Lucy's kitchen. And now that we've got your attention, let's cook. Hi there. Welcome to Lucy's kitchen. I'm Lucy and this is my kitchen. Today we're going to make a tzatziki. Tzatziki is a cucumber yogurt sauce that's used very frequently in Greek cooking. It's a wonderful sauce to use on things like gyros, and some people call it gyros, but it's gyros, on uh, kebabs, which are basically shish kebabs, and we call them souvlaki, uh, on roast meats, with even on the side of spanakopita, but tzatziki is also very handy as a dip. It's, uh, it's a handy snack in Greece. If you're a little bit hungry and it's not time for dinner yet, you might spread a little tzatziki on a piece of bread and have a snack. Well, it's also delicious with grilled vegetables like zucchini and eggplant, and you can just serve it by itself with pita chips. It's so good. Well, I've had a number of requests to make this dish for you, and so I'm going to comply. My kids, love to say, hey, hit me up with some of those suds because they just love my recipe and they think it's the best recipe in the world. Now, I can't attest to that, but I make it a lot and people like it, so I'm gonna share it with you today. Tzatziki, what's in it? Obviously, yogurt and cucumbers. Now, these are the basic elements in tzatziki. You can literally make it with just those two things. However, a really good tzatziki has a few more ingredients to make it very tasty. For example, we put in a little bit of garlic. We've got a little bit of lemon juice, some olive oil, fresh herbs that have been chopped fine, and a little salt and pepper. Sometimes we add some cumin. We're going to do it all today. So this is the ultimate recipe. You're welcome to play with it. And one of the things about it is that it's actually very, very intuitive. I'm going to try to give you measurements, but the fact is measurements are sort of, they're just a guideline. Now, you will probably want to taste your tzatziki as you go along and see if it's where you want it to be. We're going to start small and then build up to it. So let's get started. Our first job is to grate our cucumbers. Now I like to grate them into a strainer because one of the things we're going to do is strain the juice from the cucumber. As you probably know, cucumbers are very liquidy. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the cucumber. This cucumber is a English cucumber. I like them because, well, first of all, what's an English cucumber? It's what you get in the grocery store that's wrapped in plastic that you might look at and think, what is that? Well, that's what it is. But what I love about it is that it's very tender. You can eat the whole thing. You don't have to pick out the seeds and you don't have to peel it. All of it is edible. And what I like about that is that in tzatziki, that cucumber is gonna stay green. So our tzatziki is gonna have a nice green color, not bright green, but it's gonna have a green cast and it's going to look very appetizing. So anyway, first thing we do is we want to grate our cucumber. Now we're going to try to do this without making too much of a mess, but I'm grating it into a strainer and I'm going to set it over this glass bowl. You can do this in a strainer over your sink too. We're basically just trying to get all the water out of the cucumber while we, um, in order for it to be, stay thick and delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and grate for a minute. And as you see, I'm grating the skin along with the flesh, totally fine. And I'm using half a cucumber. Now you could also just kind of keep an extra half around in case you want more. The tzatziki we're making today is gonna to make about two cups. All right. So let me see here how much we've got. Do that, do this. All right, so it looks like we've got mm, about a cup of grated cucumber. And 
we're going to let that sit aside. In fact, I'm going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of salt so that it'll give up more of its uh, cucumber, hold on, there we go, its cucumber um, juice. And uh, we're going to just let it sit aside while we prepare our other ingredients. All right, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is the yogurt. So I like to use a full fat Greek yogurt and it's super, super good to do that because you don't have to strain it. Now, I remember when I was growing up, my mother would um, literally line a strainer with, I guess it was cheesecloth, some sort of stocking of cheesecloth, and she'd spoon the yogurt in there and then let it drip and let it drip until it was thick. And that is how you make Greek yogurt. You can make it yourself out of any normal yogurt. I like the full fat because it's creamy, it's delicious, has the best flavor. And I am going to use about a cup and a half of the yogurt. So we are lucky that we have Greek yogurt available to us all the time. We don't have to wait until it's, uh, you know, drained in our sink over several hours. And as a matter of fact, a long time ago, I remember making Greek yogurt myself and it took forever. It was, it was fine, but this is so much better. And I love the yogurt that's available today. So I'm going to use about a cup and a half of yogurt. And again, I'm saying about because these are going to be adjusted as we go. So we'll take our cup and a half of yogurt. Alrighty. All right, whoops. Okay, let's set that aside. Next thing I want is some garlic. Now the garlic, oh gosh, there's a couple of things to know about garlic. If you're very sensitive to garlic, you might want to use garlic powder. Just use about mm, quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon, depending on how garlic you, you like this sauce. In Greece, you might use two or three cloves of garlic. I like it to be not super garlic forward. I like to have that garlic flavor, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. So I'm using one small clove of garlic and I'm gonna just put it in the garlic press, which is um, a handy way to deal with it. And we're just gonna press it out. Oh, not very much there, but that's probably perfect. Let's see if I can get a little more squeezed out of there. Okay. All right, so that's, that's that. Our next ingredient is mint and dill. Now in Greece, mint and dill are very important spices, or herbs actually, uh, to use in Greek cooking. In fact, a lot of dishes, that's that certain something that you can't quite identify. And it's the combination of mint and dill. And of course, oregano is very big, but we're not putting oregano in this dish. We're just doing mint and dill. So I have some fresh mint and fresh dill. We're just gonna chop it up and add it to our um, yogurt. So we don't need a lot. And by the way, you can use dried. You can use dried dill, you can use dried mint. And if you don't like dill and mint, well, I guess you can leave it out, but I wouldn't. So we'll just chop this pretty fine. And by the way, just a little refresher for people who aren't familiar with chopping herbs. Um, it's good to have a chef's knife, which has a rounded bottom, a rounded edge, and you just sort of hold it in one hand and set it down with your other hand on top, and you rock it back and forth. And if you can do that, it should chop very, very quickly. Now for this recipe, we do want it to be pretty finely chopped. And ta-da. All right, let's just throw that right back in our yogurt. All right, now let's check on the cucumbers and see how they're doing. We've got quite a bit of cucumber juice down there. Now I'm going to help speed the process along with my little round spatula by pressing the cucumbers against the strainer. It's good to let them um, start to give up their 
juices before you do this step because uh, then you know that they're going to do that. Otherwise, if they're just freshly grated, they might not give up as much water. So we're just gonna press that and get those cucumbers a little drier. And okay, we've got, I would say a good half a cup or at least a quarter cup of cucumber juice. Now you can save that and put it in soup if you want or just throw it away or drink it. In Greece, they would drink it. Okay, now we're gonna add our cucumber to the tzatziki. And that's it, all right. Now, um, one thing that my mother loved to do was to add a little salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna put a little more salt. Now, you probably recall we put a little salt on the cucumbers. Altogether, I'm not exceeding half a teaspoon of salt here. So you might wanna wait until the end before you add salt, but that's, I kinda know what to do here. And then some pepper. You can use fresh ground pepper. You can use pre-ground pepper, but you want a little bit of pepper to give it some bite. And we always like to put in something tart, a little vinegar. You could use a tiny bit of wine vinegar, a teaspoon or less. You can use some lemon juice. I like lemon juice. And we're going to just squeeze it right in. And I, I'm using very little. You can always add more if you need more tang. And finally, my mother is famous for her tzatziki. Of course, she's no longer with us, but she's left her helpful hints with me. So she liked to put a tiny bit of cumin in it. And that's not as traditional, but it's very, very tasty. So we're gonna do about like a quarter teaspoon of cumin. And then finally, we're gonna do a little bit of olive oil. So we want some extra virgin olive oil. And that's it. We're gonna mix it. And that's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna scrape it into a bowl so you can get a good look at it. And tzatziki will keep covered in your refrigerator for, um, I'd say, three to four days, but it will give off some more liquid. So you'll want to stir it up really well before you use it. And if it does give up some liquid, it's okay. You can put, put it right back into the, into the sauce. All right, and that is that. So this is our tzatziki. Now, if you were going to serve this, you could put some into a little dish and uh, then drizzle some olive oil on top, which I'll do here just to make it pretty. You can decorate with some mint or some olives, but in our case, we're just gonna taste it. Make sure it doesn't need something else. Whoops, which I should have done while it was still in the mixing bowl. Mm-hmm, very good. Definitely garlicky, despite it was just one little clove. Mm. The herbs and spices are super, super fresh and fragrant. And mm, I love this. I mean, this is my favorite thing to make, one of my favorite things to make. So um, I hope you'll give it a try. Now, I'm gonna also taste it with a uh, pita chip because I wanna make sure that it's good with food. So I'll just give it a little try. Mm. It's definitely good with food. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us here at Lucy's Kitchen. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back next time when we share more delicious recipes from my kitchen to yours.